Hey guys, welcome back. So I've had a lot of requests in the comments recently asking for a drum tutorial, which I guess is kind of funny because I don't have that many on the channel, even though one of my best videos is the breakbeat video. So I thought today, that's what we're gonna do. And actually in particular, I've had a lot of people asking for me to maybe show or explain how artists like Rose Terenzi and D Tiffany make their drums. Um, those two being kind of like the ones which seem to pop up in the comments the most. So that's what I thought we would do today and instead of maybe teaching how to make one of their tracks kind of recreate it, thought I would break down one of the beats that they use in one of their tracks, um, a Rosa Terenzi track called That Track and um, break it down and show you the techniques that she uses in her beat making so that you can take them away and make your beats even better. So without further ado, let's get into the video. No. To keep things simple, I've used the basic 808 kit in Ableton. Anything which isn't an 808 jump, I've basically used the closest sound in the kit. So to start, I remade the congas. As you can hear, they have a rhythmic off-kilter quality, which can be attributed to the 332 rhythm being used. 332 refers to the number of 16th notes between each hit, rather than some shit football formation where half the team didn't turn up. Here it is as a kick drum. As you can see, it's three notes, including the kick, then three, and then two. Now if I layer over the bongos, you can see that they hit at the same time, with a few notes removed. Adding or removing notes to this type of rhythm can make the asymmetry of the beat more or less subtle. Next I added the clap, where it's played slightly more on beat, which contrasts nicely to the off-kilter elements. The phrase however is accentuated at the end with a double clap. Next the hats, which contributes to the energy of the beat. Here the hats are played on 16th notes, with a phrase being replayed once every bar. So here it is together over two bars. And now here's four bars of the beat. You may have noticed that bar three and four are variations on bar one and two, with a small snare fill to accentuate the end of the four bar phrase and help anticipate the introduction of a new four bars. So how about we take what we've learnt here and apply it to this boring house beat that I've put together. So first let's use the 3-3-2 rhythm we discussed earlier to give our kick some more life. I'll change the first bar to the 3-3-2 rhythm and then slip back into every downbeat. Next I'll shift the final close hat over and add a hit on the final beat. So the bar ends on a mini fill, helping lead into the next bar and adding a bit of variety. Now for the maracas, which we were using as kind of additional hats to increase the energy of the drum track. Here I program them on 16 notes with gaps to add tension. We can also learn from that track by duplicating and varying our bar in the next bar. I've added more closed high hats at the end of the second bar to create another mini fill. I'll do this again to get a four bar loop, instead creating a mini stair fill like that track to accentuate the end of the four bars. Next I'll go back in and add the congas because I kind of forgot earlier. I write a little beat based off the 3-3-2 rhythm. As you can see it works nicely with the kick drum as the constant 3-3-2 rhythm of the congas sync in and out with the kick. I'll shift the second to last conga over so it doesn't clash with the kick. I'll then duplicate it and vary it before duplicating again. And voila, we've gone from stale house beat to a bop that'll get you on your feet. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from that. A little bit of different take this time. I don't usually take something and break it apart and maybe explain the theory side of it behind it a little bit more. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it and let me know if you didn't like it or something you wanted me to add which I didn't touch on, something like that. I was really touched last week, last week, last video. Um, someone put in the comments that they would be interested in uh, donating to a page called uh, Buy Me A Coffee. Um, and you got a fair amount of likes, uh, so if anyone is interested, I've left it down below, I've changed it to buy me a pint, um, and I'd appreciate it. 
And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as I always say, and I'll catch you in the next one.